Hi, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, I wanted to say welcome to Cloud Foundry Summit. But even more exciting than that, welcome to the first ever cloudnative.net track at any Cloud Foundry Summit. So Cloud Foundry has been polyglot since the beginning. But it's one thing to say our platform supports all the languages. And it's another thing to have all the rich features, the tools, the, um, the management support, et cetera, that you need to run real workloads in production. Um, if, you, if you look around at Cloud Foundry Summit, there's, there's actually quite a lot of .NET buzz going on this time around. It's very exciting. We're kind of at an inflection point. We had a .NET on Cloud Foundry training class before the summit kicked off as part of the, the pre-summit uh, training lineup. Uh, there was a demo yesterday. How many of you all saw, saw the demo with the light bulbs? A uh, very cool .NET demo integrating Azure, cognitive APIs, and all kinds of cool stuff in the, in the stack. Uh, there, there will be a demo tomorrow during the keynotes uh, highlighting uh, remote server debugging on Windows 2016 server inside of Cloud Foundry. So some very, very cool stuff is happening. And now we have a great full track of Cloud Native .NET talks uh, at, at Cloud Foundry Summit. So I, I work for Pivotal. As part of my job, I get to speak to customers. And I've spoken to quite a few customers who are running uh, workloads, .NET workloads, in production on Cloud Foundry. And in some cases, those are internal business apps. But in other cases, they are public-facing, high-scale, massively scale uh, applications that do financial transactions and drive the revenue of the companies that they belong to. I mean, so very, very exciting stuff that, uh, that they're using this for. Um, these companies are running hundreds, or in some cases, thousands of application instances on the platform. And uh, so, so really, we've, we've come a long way. And it's about time that we claim our, our rightful place here in Cloud Foundry Summit. Uh, today, uh, or over the next couple of days in this track, uh, we've got a bunch of great talks. Uh, we've got a couple of talks from Microsoft. Uh, and then there are talks from Pivotal as well, uh, some customer talks uh, from real practitioners that are using Cloud Foundry and .NET. Uh, Charles Schwab will be here. Travelers Insurance will be here. Um, we've also got uh, quite a few partner talks, including Altoros and GrapeUp and Cognizant. So there are some, some excellent uh, things for you here to see, uh, whether you are just starting on that journey or whether you are already well on your way uh, to running Cloud Foundry, there, there should be definitely something here for you to take away. Um, I put together this track together with my co-chair. His name's Sergey. <laughs> um, Sergey wants to uh, talk, say a few words and, um, and also maybe highlight some of the talks that he's excited about. Sure. Thanks, Zach. Uh, this year, it was the first time I helped to select topics for Cloud Foundry Summit, and I honestly was uh, very impressed by the number of good talks that uh, we had, and it was very difficult to select because we argued with Zach a lot, and because we're, all talks were great. And uh, yeah, uh, one thing that I want to highlight is that we have talks that are very good for beginners, for example, the ones that uh, can teach you 12-factor uh, apps in a practical way. Uh, and we have topics for more advanced users, uh, like uh, deep dive in ISP.NET Core, and uh, we even have one of my favorite topics about F Sharp, how we can deploy it on the platform. It will be very interesting for me to uh, attend this one. And my own topic about troubleshooting.NET applications, where I want to share some uh, internals of uh, how platform works and how we can utilize those features. Uh, I was also impressed how many submissions were from uh, companies that already have been using .NET. So the support is pretty new, but we have a lot of uh, success stories from companies like Travelers that already use .NET, uh, in, and that's great. So I'm honestly very excited about this, and yeah, it's uh, very great that we have this track, and uh, welcome everybody to .NET Track. I hope it will be a great experience for everybody. <laughs> 